A simple reaction time test. A meter stick is held vertically above your hand with the lower end between your thumb and first finger. When you see the meter stick released, you grab it with those two fingers. You can calculate your reaction time from the distance the meter stick falls. Read directly, uh, which is read directly from the point where your fingers grabbed it. Part A. Derive a relationship for your reaction time in terms of this measured distance D. Part B. If the measured distance is 17.6 cm, what is your reaction time? Now, as you can see here, we hold a meter stick. It's under the influence of gravitational acceleration. When this meter stick is released, at the end of the reaction time, we hold uh, the, the meter stick again with our uh, thumb uh, and uh, the, uh, the the two fingers, uh, the, the thumb and the first finger that is holding it here. And we can read this distance d that it has fallen and from this we can calculate what our reaction time is. So for part A, uh, we can say that the meter stick was released at time t equals to 0. So it is released at time t equals 0, 0 seconds. Uh, we have constant acceleration. Acceleration is minus g, gravitational acceleration. Therefore, the velocity of the stick as a function of time is minus gt. And the distance it travels, delta y, is uh, the integral from uh, 0 to t, p of t dt, which will be uh, minus 1 over 2 g t squared. So minus g, g t dt. So if I measure a delta y, because uh, I start from um, <clears throat> Uh, zero reading and then I read d so there's delta y of minus d so that implies that it has fallen down a distance uh, d minus d is equal to minus 1 over 2 uh, g t square this gives me for the reaction time square root 2d divided by g the gravitational acceleration which is square root 2d over 9.8 meters per second square or square root d over 4.9. So this is basically my reaction time. Now for part b, I measure a distance of 17.6 centimeters. So I can calculate the reaction time as square root 2d over square root g, so it's going to be uh, the, this ratio square root 2 times 17.6 centimeters, which is 17.6 10 to minus 2 meters, divided by square root of 9.8 meters per second square, and this answer comes out to be 0 0.19 zero seconds <clears throat> so because the the measured distance was given with three significant figures i should have three significant figures in my answer so the reaction time is 0 0.190 seconds okay so to summarize uh, we have a meter stick that is held vertically above our hand lower end is between our thumb and first finger and then we release the meter stick, it falls a distance t, and in our reaction time we close our fingers again, and we measure the distance t that it has fallen, and from this we want to calculate what our reaction time is, and for a reading of 17.6 centimeters, what the numerical value of this reaction time should be. Uh, because this is constant acceleration motion, the distance it falls under gravitational acceleration g is minus 1 over 2 uh, gt squared. That's the um, displacement. Uh, the velocity is increasing in the downward direction, uh, 
minus g times t and the distance it falls uh, d is going to give us the displacement of minus d uh, so we basically have the reaction time square root 2d over uh, g and uh, by substituting 17.6 10 to minus 2 meters for d we obtain for our reaction time 0 0.190 seconds.